Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Elder Scrolls Online Let's Talk video with me, Sherman. Today guys, I'm going to be doing something called What's What's Your Opinion of This Idea? And the reason why is because I want to get your guys' opinion, I want your thoughts on this. Now I'm also going to be posting a, in the community section on my YouTube channel a um, poll with the same, same thing I'm going to ask you here. I'm going to make this, this video short and sweet. So here's the idea. Do you guys like the idea of having character builds with all the different classes broken up and certain classes with certain names to represent what they are? Would you rather have it be like this? Instead of saying Dragon Knight, it would say Knight. Instead of Dragon Knight, it would be Knight. And there would be a Knight for every class. These would be primarily stamina-based tanks. And then you have the Paladin, which is more like a hybrid based support tank. Then you have the Fighter, who is more of a martial weapons expert. That means they're, they're trained in all melee weapon types. A um, Barbarian, which is like somebody who's like a brutal warrior kind of thing. They're both damage dealer and tank, all in one. Then you have the and and there would be one of every class for all this stuff there would be more than just one though because i might do like a tempest barbarian like i did before and that one's going to be more of an aggressive uh type barbarian then i might do one that's called the um <clears throat> nature's wrath barbarian which is going to be a necromancer barbarian or i might do something that is called the um Dragon's Rage Barbarian, which is pretty much <laughs> what it sounds like. It is a Dragon Knight Barbarian. And all Barbarians would use medium armor mixed with a heavy set. And it would work in certain combinations because I design it to work a certain way that it, to where it could be an off tank or a damage dealer. I would do the same thing with fighters. Fighters would be off tanks and damage dealers. And then the... Um, Knights and Paladins would be main tanks. And all the Knights and Paladins would have different setups. Like Knights might have dual swords on the back bar with a sword and shield front bar. Where a Paladin might have a sword and shield front bar with a two-handed hammer on the back bar. And then I would go even further because I would have Clerics, which are like heavy armor support characters. They're more like healers and heavy armor. Then you have the Priests, who are like light armor characters... Um, but they're focused on healing. And then there, they would be support characters. Then there would be the um, shamans, which are kind of like support characters, but they do damage and healing mixed together. So they're more like hybrid characters. And then you have druids, which are the same thing, but they're a little. each one is a little different. Like shamans are more corrupted. Um, they're more, you know, they're, they're shamanistic. So they're medium armor, and then druids are medium armor. But then there's also other things with druids that you can do that could put you into different like setups. Like there's going to be like a tempest druid. There's going to be a or a storm druid. Then there will be a like in, uh, nature, uh, not nature's wrath, <laughs> a um, hurricane type shaman. You know, something like that. Like there would be a name for every class type based on the different things and i would do this with rogues like rogue types magic users basically i would use every term that's in dungeons and dragons from fighter magic user rogue knight paladin um pretty much you name it i will do something on that so this way you guys know that hey i'm a, i'm playing a, a knight character i'm a tank that's my primary setup i'm gonna be a tank my character is going to be focused on being healthy, but also a damage dealer with physical capabilities. So when I'm not tanking, I can change my skills out and be more focused in damage dealing. And that's kind of how that one works. Like every class, uh, every build would work that way. They'd work with certain weapon types, um, certain things like that. Like the paladins would probably be sword and shield and two-handed. Knights would be uh, sword and shield and dual wield. And Barbarians would be dual wield and probably two-handed for tanking. And then the 
um, fighters. Fighters would be a mix of things. They'd use sword and shield. Some would. Some would use um, dual wield. Some would use two-handed. They, they're, they're, they're off tanks. Like I said, off tanks. Fighters and barbarians would be off tanks, and paladins and knights would be main tanks. And then you'd have all these other different things, like a magic user. They would be. There would be magic users that are like the blood mage. It's they're more damage orientated characters, and then you have priests. So you might have, the, instead of a blood mage, you might have something called a blood witch, which is more like a support character that uses ne uh, healing through the nightblade class, and then you have all these other things that play into this idea. So there would be rangers for every class. So we'd have six different rangers. We already have the bone stalker. And the Storm Ranger. You guys don't realize this, but I also have an Arcane Archer, which is a heavy armor Ranger type character that utilizes magic, survivability, and melee or ranged combat to play. And that's how they're designed to work. They're more of like a tank with a bow. And it would I would have them all in this uh, idea. The idea is that I have it say Arcane Archer and it'd be under the, the ranger category, right? And then it'd say what, what else sorcerer, right? But in the, the character design, like the listing where I'd have it on the website and how I'd have it listed on the website is, see how this one says a Dragon's Rage, Dragon Knight character? It would say Dragon's Rage, Dragon Knight character, Barbarian, or, uh, Barbarian um, role or Barbarian class. So this way you would know, okay, this Dragon's Rage is a Dragonite character, but he's a Barbarian. He's going to be in the Barbarian category. And then in the in the playlists, because the playlists are really cool. If you don't know anything about play, the playlists here, if I click on this, it'll say this section is for Warden character builds. I would actually have this change to say this is for Druid character builds. And the, give you a disclaimer and everything about what a druid is. How they're a support type character that utilizes both magic and physical capabilities. They're more hybrids. And this way, if you want to play that character, you can go, you know what, I really like the druid, I'm going to play it. Or I really like the um, Nature's Ward guardian uh, Ranger, because the, the Nature's Ward Ranger really fits my playstyle, and it's a bow bow build that uses stamina abilities primarily. And then I can do the druid where it'd be like dual wield and bow, but it would use a mix of stamina and magicka. And then I would do the shamans where the shamans use dual, like a uh, two handed and a, and a staff, or they'd use a mason shield and a staff, but they wouldn't use a resto staff. They would use a destruction staff because they use a lot of magic type damage they're, they're more damage orientated, but with support built in. So you'd have all these different um, character types that you could play. Like I said, there would be a fighter. And I have I even came up with this one called the Savage. Um, it's just called the Savage Fighter. And it's basically somebody who uses sword and shield and dual wield on the, on the build. And they, they can play that way. Or they can use, I was thinking sword and shield or dual wield and a bow. And using dual axes and a bow and using something like twin sisters so whenever you block an attack you you cause the enemies around you to bleed and then use the um werewolf set the frenzied werewolf so every time you deal light attack you you eventually go into a frenzy and that would be the savage part <sighs> so you could do a ton of damage that way and I just got to thinking, like, I was sitting here last night, and I was looking at all the different gear sets, and I was looking at all the different options, and I was looking at all the different ways that I could make characters, and there wouldn't be just, like, six types of barbarians. There would be 20 or 30 different types of barbarians, because there's so many different ways that I can make barbarians with each class. So I could do one barbarian that focuses on sword and shield and a two-handed, or I could do another barbarian that focuses on dual wield and a two-handed, or one that focuses on dual wield and a bow. Because I can take all these different options to create all these different types of builds with all the different gear sets in the game to bring you guys, like I said, a larger variety of builds. Instead of doing Necromancer, da -da, I could even do that and just put in there, hey, this is a Templar, uh, this is the, you know, the Arcane Archer character, they're a 
primary tank. You know, they're a tank. Uh, they're a tank. Uh, a tank role, and I could do that instead of you know doing this other thing. But I really want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. It's something that I've been really, really just kind of holding on the background, on the back burner, and <clears throat> while I've been releasing builds, and I've been like, the more and more I release builds, the more and more I want to go, you know what, forget it, I'm doing this, because this sounds like a much cooler idea, where people can go just look at the list of, hey, this is a fighter, this is a magic user, this is a cleric, this is a priest, this is a shaman, druid, knight, paladin, barbarian, rogue, you know, and go, this is what I want to play, I want to play a bard, but I want to play the Blade Singer, or I want to play this bard, and I want to be a um, a what is it? Uh, a bard of valor, which is more like a tankier type bard. Then, or I want to be this kind of bard, or I want to be this kind of bard. So, you can take the different options and say, I want to be this kind of bard. Like I want to be a uh, necrotic bard. And that's what it would be called, the Necrotic Bard. And that would be a Necromancer Bard, who can use Necromancer abilities to help his group. And then the Shaman, I could do one called the Defiler Shaman, which is basically somebody who uses... Like, you guys know the new Druid I made, where it uses the Defiler set? That would I'd put that on the Shaman. And then I would use an Offensive Magicka set, so we could I could take advantage of it. And that would be the, the Shaman character. So the, the character still does damage and stuff. It uses two sets that amplify its ability to do damage, but then it would use a third set that was as a support set. So its monster set might be Chokethorn, or it might be um, the Dwemer set, or it might be something else that offers group support. But like I said, guys, let me know what you think, because I have so many ideas that there's... I, I, my, I can't fill my notebook anymore. <laughs> it's full. I have to get a new one. <laughs> It sucks. But but let me know, truly, what do you guys think of this idea? I love it myself, personally. So this would change my channel more roleplay dedicated and casual play dedicated because it would have these, these wider variety of options. But again, I have to leave it to you guys to decide. So let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of this? If you like these ideas, please go ahead and hit that like button if you guys want to see more um, ideas by me. You can subscribe. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful day. And this guy might see you again. Bye.